we're gonna check out Stable Cascade and you might be saying, ah, oh, wait a minute, Seb. All the other YouTubers have already done it. You're days, days after them. Well, I'm gonna show you something that they didn't. I'm gonna get it installed into Automatic 11.11 and Forge. And it's basically just a one-click installer. Super easy. And if you missed all of the Stable Cascade and you wanna know what it is, well, we're gonna look into that too. But uh, basically, it's uh, faster and better at prompting. Oh, and it does text as well. That's nice. Oh, and did you know that almost all garden gnomes have red hats? It's a little gnome fact. AI. Here we have our little gnome depot worker with a sign that reads uh, big here. And here we are in automatic 1111. I'm also having Forge here. And here we have a cinematic photo of an elf showing her hands. And just look at those hands. You have all the fingers there now obviously looking at the gnome here when you're doing text it's gonna work but it it's also not gonna work so some results are gonna be good especially the one word ones but if you try longer sentences and stuff like that uh, you are gonna see that it messes up a little bit and if you have no idea what i'm talking about here this is stable cascade and that is a new text to image model built on verse gen and if you remember verse gen we did a video on that uh, of, oh, quite a while ago and um, the thing with this is that the Latin space is compressed very, 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 very small. So this model is very fast and can achieve some very high resolution results. I can actually do like 2048 by 2048 natively. So here we have some example images and you can see you have two text examples. You have stable cascade here and you have joined the Discord to get you to join their Discord. Uh, I recommend uh, my own Discord where you have the weekly challenge, the art challenge. So come join, chat about AI. But just look at these images here and they are actually looking pretty good. And coming back again to the verse gen there. So the people that did verse gen actually got employed by Stability AI and they kept working on this uh, under the name of Stable Cascade. So just looking at some speed comparisons here, so you have the differences in inference speed between Stable Cascade, SDXL, Playground V2, and SDXL Turbo. So obviously SDXL Turbo, super fast, but the results, mm, well, a little lacking. For Stable Cascade, your results are actually pretty, pretty good. And not only that, we're getting prompt understanding that is, well, better than probably anything that we've seen so far in Stable Diffusion. I'm gonna link this in the description below if you wanna dive deep into, uh, you know, the details of what's going on. But I figured, I mean, you guys, you wanna know how to get this little tab in here, the Stable Cascade tab. Don't wanna mess uh, with a lot of other stuff. Obviously, there's like a demo, there's a hugging face, but it's like, it's super popular now. So, I mean, it's barely even working anymore. This is all gonna be available in my Patreon as well as a text guide. So if you wanna support my work, that helps a lot. You don't have to. So first of all, we're gonna find this little extension here. Again, this is gonna be linked in the description. You're gonna take that because it's not yet available through the extensions tab. I'm sure there will be some version of Stable Cascade soon, but just go install from URL, copy paste that, click install, go into installed, press apply and restart UI. And once that's finished, you're gonna see this little tab here. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is editing Seb putting some stuff in here. I saw some people having issues with uh, installing this uh, stable cascade uh, extension. And I noticed that a lot of people using forged one click installer had this issue and when they tried to fix it with uh, manually installing Forge or Automatic 11.11 like fully, that helped them. I don't know if it's gonna help you, but uh, good to know. And that works both for Automatic 11.11 and Forge. Then you can just prompt whatever you want. So we could do a cinematic photo from a fantasy movie, cat in a hat. Let's just do one image here. And we are not generating at uh, the default 1024 by 1024 which should be fine for most systems or at least many systems. I've managed actually to get this even up to uh, 2048 by 2048 natively. So that's uh, pretty cool. So here we have our results. It's, uh, it's fairly okay for what we're getting here. And let's change the prompt here. Let's take a scene from a studio 
Ghibli movie. We still have a cat and a hat here and we're still at the same resolution. We're not changing any of the settings here, but feel free to if you want to play around, but I uh, haven't seen any particular use. And just looking at this, no, not using any specific anime prompts or Loras or stuff like that. And it really resembles the style of a Studio Ghibli movie. It's uncanny. I just love what you can do with this. And if we just change this scene from Star Wars movie, and we generate that again, and we get something, uh, well, we got some sort of a, I don't know what's going on. We have the, almost like the Jedi clothes here. We have, I don't know what, about the hat, but we're at least in a sci-fi setting. Let's do manga style drawing. This is just to show you that it's very easy to replicate a style in a very, very, very short prompt here. And here we have our little cat in a hat. Now we can also do some advanced prompting here. So now we have Steen from a Studio Ghibli movie, cat in a hat, sitting on a table, looking out the window, sun is shining in and casting deep shadows, potted plant in corner of room. Now, if you're doing anything like this, in a regular stable fusion model, we wouldn't be well, getting all of it. We were getting parts of it. And we aren't getting all of it. We are getting parts of it still, but it, it is much better than we had previously. So we have a cat in a hat uh, sitting on this table and it is almost looking out of the window. We have the potted plants and uh, we have the, the deep shadows here. We didn't get what is uh, seen from a Studio Ghibli movie. So we could actually Studio Ghibli anime style. Let's try and do that again. And let's run uh, four images to see if we can uh, cherry pick uh, a result here. Now we got four images here and just looking at these, we did a little amendment in the prompt and we are now getting all of these images resembling a, a Studio Ghibli scene. We got a little more potted plants probably than what we requested. But in all of the scenes, we have a cat sitting on a table and it's, uh, well, at least trying to look out of the window and the shadows are very dark and um, dramatic here. So I would say much better than what has been available previously. Now this can be fine tuned, of course. I'm just doing some, some very, very simple ones here. Now let me just quickly show you here cinematic photo of cat in a hat. And let's do this. 2048. So this is not a high res fix. This is not an upscaler. This is a native generation of 2048 by 2048. So that's pretty massive. That is pretty massive. Now bear in mind, I have an RTX 4090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. So I don't expect um, that every one of you guys will be able to do 2048 by 2048, but feel free to try and let me know in the comments how high you can go. And we have a cat and a hat here and we have, you can even see like the little, um, what do you call the fibers of the cloth hat here. So I, I think this is a very good result. I think it's pretty amazing. If you open this and zoom in, so this is the full resolution, right? So this is a 100% and just looking at this, I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And this is not supposed to be like an image quality model. This is supposed to be something that's uh, running faster, faster and more efficient. And you can still get this kind of quality just from a quick generation, a simple prompt. Very nice, very nice. Thanks for watching and thanks for everyone that is supporting me on Patreon. I appreciate it a lot. It goes a long way. I'll see you in the next video. As always, have a good one. See ya.